I don't like I don't like shy people. Really. I understand being shy, but at the same time, there's borderline. Don't when it's too shy, then it's annoying. It's irritating. Just talk. Today's society is geared towards extroversion. Making friends, getting a job, finding a partner, being able to talk openly, take risks, and be free from fear of judgment or rejection is something that will always put you out ahead. I am not one of those people. I am shy. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm on camera right now. How shy can I really be? The thing is, there's no one behind that camera. If there was, I couldn't do this. Now everybody gets anxious in situations to some extent. Lynn Alden is a professor of psychology at the University of British Columbia. It interferes with their ability to socialize, make friends, date, and workplace functioning as well. Now, what can these people do to help us? First of all, you have to understand what's at the root of social anxiety disorder. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Social anxiety disorder? What Dr. Alden's describing in this video isn't shyness. What she's talking about is social anxiety disorder, a diagnosable mental illness. Social anxiety disorder is a condition that's marked by fear in social situations. They're afraid to express their opinions because they're afraid that other people will disapprove of them. That seems silly. I can be diagnosed with shyness? Sure, I'm shy, but do I really need a doctor to get over it? Hi, I'm Troy and I have social anxiety disorder. I absolutely believe in social anxiety. Maybe not as a disorder, but there is that step up from just being shy. Unlike an introvert, I want to be out there. I want to be social, but I'm being controlled by this irrational fear of judgment. The first line pharmaceutical treatment is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The pharmaceutical industry has been very good at shaping our thinking about disease. They essentially created the condition called social anxiety disorder. Drug companies came to the rescue in the 1990s, introducing SSRIs and other psychoactive drugs to help combat depression claiming it was also effective for problems such as social anxiety disorder as well. Yeah, I got diagnosed with social anxiety and prescribed medication the same day. Um, so I took it for about, I would say, four months. And I hated it. I hated every moment of it. I felt awful taking it. I just felt like there was something wrong with me. So what do you think the first step is for dealing with shyness? I'd probably say my biggest recommendation, put yourself way out of your comfort zone. Meet up with someone actually. Because if you do that, it's like, it's that first step. Meet up with someone you don't, you, you have no idea who they are. Now, it's always been difficult for me to meet new people, to break the ice and hold a conversation, but as it turns out, there are whole groups online who are dedicated to helping people overcome their shyness. I put the call out there to see if there's anyone willing to meet and have a conversation about it. Have you ever faced any situations where you felt social anxiety? Oh, absolutely. Everyone does. I can't really recall any situation I was, was feeling super anxious in social situations. Most people get anxious in public speaking situations. You know, I've done a lot of public speaking. T to be honest, and let me be frank here, it's actually very hard for me to understand how people, how shy people react to the world. Because I'm not a shy person. I received a response from the support group. Ivy, one of the organizers, has agreed to have a conversation with me about her shyness. I'm going to go into this unprepared. I'm not going to plan anything out, and hopefully I can overcome my anxiety and not just sit there awkwardly the whole time.
Hey Dylan, how's it going? Not so great, I don't know. It's been better. <laughs> How'd you meet up with Ivy Go? I bailed on it. I don't know, I couldn't. I'm sorry to hear that, man. You know, you don't get over anxiety in one day. I mean, I guess there is always medication, right? I really wouldn't recommend medication. Maybe it could work, but I would suggest doing your research first. It's really quite interesting because Hippocrates, who was the ancient Greek physician, uh, he described cases of people who are afraid of other people. So social anxiety has always been with us. It's part of the human condition. Do you really need to be treating something that is very natural for people and do you really need to be configuring it as a disease? The idea that you would be shy and have, uh, have difficulty public speaking and then be told you have a disease for which you need a, a drug is really a jump. Being shy and introverted does put you at a disadvantage in today's extroverted society. If we want to get out there, if we want to stand up in front of crowds and talk, if we want to succeed in job interviews and on dates, then we have to overcome our anxieties. Maybe they're right, maybe medication isn't a magic bullet solution, but there must be a way to do it. We just need to get out there and find the solution for ourselves. Are you implying that I'm white based only on my skin color? You're racist.